Okay, so we assume that we've got your power turned on. If you do, you'll notice that the Mo Mo Mother 32 is already making some blinking lights, and this also has some lights on it. You'll notice over here, this doesn't. So what's going on here is we have three devices. This is a sequencer, and this is just sending note and gate data to our Mother 32. Our Mother 32 is sending audio and going out into this chaos pad, and then the chaos pad is sending its audio from here over to the mixer. You'll see there's this a matching cable on the mixer um, plugged into that. So this does not turn on by default when you turn the power on. You actually have to push the power button, which is right there, and then it will light up. And then you can just ignore this for now. This is not really part of what we're working on. Um, if you do want to use this, I find it's helpful to go to the delay settings and then use the delays. You can tap into delay time and then um, press hold and then just turn a delay on. It'll sort of ring on and stay on while you're working with the Mother 32. So over here, our audio output is in the back. We have a main volume right here, which is our master volume. And the synthesizer is laid out with a VCO, a filter, and then the volume here, and then this is the envelope that is getting sent to control the filter um, for this knob, or you can also send the envelope to control the VCA. If it's on VCA mode, it's in envelope generator mode. Um, and then you can also use the envelope generator to control the pitch, uh, which is a little bit more of a special case. You're probably not likely to do that a whole lot, but it's kind of fun to play around with. Over here on our sequencer, the first thing you're probably going to do is turn this into sequencer mode. And what that will do is make it so when you hit play, it starts playing the sequence, whatever the currently loaded sequence is. This sequence is going to send out a pitch CV out this um, yellow cable. This is going to go into our VCO one volt per octave input. It's going to send a gate CV, which is going to come out this red cable and go into our gate input. Notice that there's a, a gate here and a gate here. I believe this is the input, and I believe that this is the output. I feel like that's backwards, actually. Now that I say that, I feel like this is going to be the gate input because the inputs are normally, the outputs are normally black text on white. But let's go ahead and turn the volume up. And also, I'm going to go over to my mixer and make sure that my mixer, volume on my mixer is turned up as well and see if I hear anything. So you may need to play around with a little bit to see if you can get any sound out of this. There's a couple of things you might try. So one thing is make sure your volume is turned up. Secondly, make sure your filter is not turned all the way down. If your filter frequency is turned all the way down, then you might just be cutting off all the frequencies. So I might turn my frequency for my filter all the way up. And then I can check over here to see whether I'm getting a level. So over here, you can see there's a little green light that's lighting up. That green light is saying that I'm getting level from my Mother 32. If I turn this volume here all the way up, I'll see that green light more. And if I turn it all the way down, you'll see that green light goes away. So this is getting level from the Moog Mother 32. Um, this is coming in here, and maybe I just didn't turn up the right input. Or, okay, so this is something that happens a lot with this, where it's just a very high frequency. So if I come in here, and I, um, the Moog Mother 32 has a sequencer built into it. We're not using the sequencer. It's a little bit, it's a perfectly fine sequencer. It's just a little bit less intuitive than this one right here, and a little bit less hands-on. But um, by default, it sends a really high frequency to the VCO. So I'm going to hit, just hit that first button. And what that does is just send, set the note of the VC, uh, send to the VCO by this sequencer to be a reasonable value. Anyways, just a, a, that's a gotcha. So if you're really having a hard time hearing it or if it's super, super high frequency, just go ahead and toggle that note right there. Okay, so we're definitely getting sound out of our sequencer right now. Let's go ahead and make things a little bit simpler. So I'm going to hit down these two buttons and hit this. And now we're just going to stay on that sequence. So with these two buttons holding them down determines how long the sequence is. So by just holding down the first one, I'm only making a single note sequence that I can use. And then I can also slow that down if I want to. Okay. So once I've got that gone on, I've got my envelope controls right here. And my envelope is getting sent three places. First is getting sent to the filter. So you can hear it's controlling the filter frequency. This is how much the filter is controlling the frequency. Uh, our filters also, or our envelopes controlling the frequency. 
Our envelope's also getting sent to our VCA. By default, it's just controlling the VCA. There's no control for that other than the switch. We can turn that off. So in this instance, what's going on is that the um, synthesizer is always on, right? Um, in this mode, it's only on when the envelope generator fires. I turned down the filter control right there, right? So the filter's not doing anything. We can also use our envelope generator over here. And what this does is modulate the VCO in some way. So we have two modulation sources. One is our envelope and the other is our LFO. Our LFO has a, two waveforms, a triangle wave and a square wave. And our rate controls right there goes pretty high and it goes pretty low. And then we can use our LFO to control a couple different things. So if I'm on my square wave, I can set the LFO to control the pulse width. Right here, the VCO mod destination is pulse width. This is how much is going to modulate the pulse width. And you can hear that effect right there. Here's a square wave. Here's a triangle wave. The fun thing about the Mother 32 is that by just like going to extreme values, it actually can do really interesting and kind of fun musical things. And I don't be afraid to play around with that because it really is pretty fun. All right. Um, you could also send the um, LFO to control the frequency of our oscillator. So this is the main frequency knob of our oscillator, which is also being controlled by our sequencer. Right? And if I control it with my LFO, you can hear it go kind of crazy. So kind of a special case, which you may not may not necessarily want to do all the time. Um, there's a lot of depth in this, but when you think about it from a subtractive synthesizer standpoint, it's a single oscillator with two waveforms. There's pulse width for the square wave. Um, there is a noise generator in here. So this is just pure white noise with no control other than just volume. And you can mix it in to our um, our regular oscillator. Then there's a filter, cutoff resonance, and an output. And then attack decay, envelope, LFO, and that's almost it. There's a couple of other sort of nuances here in terms of the tempo and also glide, which, we, which we're not really using because that actually mostly works with this sequence over here, which we're not using right now. Um, over on the left hand or on the right hand side, we have a bunch of patch points, and you'll see inputs and outputs. Outputs are labeled with black text on white. Inputs are labeled with white text just on the black background. And you can grab any of the patch cables in our system and experiment with routing different things to different places. So for example, we can say we want to take our LFO triangle wave, which is just our full amplitude triangle wave, and use it to control our VCF cutoff. Let's turn the up a little bit. Uh, oops, I was using, I always do this, the label is above the jack. So this is actually the triangle wave LFO. Uh, we can use <laughs> the VCO to control the filter free cutoff, but that's not really going to do very much. Um, we could use the VCF, VCO to control the resonance, which actually can be kind of interesting but um, you kind of have to play around with a bunch. There's a bunch of different controls in here. Um, just for reference, there is also a molt. So if you decide you want to send that triangle wave to two places, send the triangle wave into the molt, and then take molt one and molt two, and you can control two different things with our triangle wave. There's also a mixer here, which uses this knob. So our input one is on the left, input two is on the right, and our uh, output is right here. And then we can actually use a voltage to control the balance of let one and two back and forth. Anyways, there's a lot of depth to this. I'll let you go through tutorials and YouTube videos and get a sense for what this can do.